All right, I'm going to be uh, making the tools that he would have had to have forged to uh, chop down the trees, to uh, shape the wood into planks and siding and uh, ribs and everything else. And uh, he would not have been told to uh, or commanded to make the ark if he wasn't shown how to make the tools to make that ark. Time to play with some clay. I'm going to be using monster clay, uh, gray, uh, to uh, make these tools with, and uh, I've got the clay softening up under my I, under my light uh, at the moment, just uh, waiting for it to get to a point where I can start making these tools. But this is what I'm going to be doing today. All right. Be right back when I get the clay softened up enough to work with. I'm going to have his tools leaning up against the uh, side of the log here, maybe over the corner here and here, and uh, make it so that I can pull it away and have them uh, molded separate. And I just got to figure out how to do that or how I'm going to do that. This would have been during the Iron Age, so... Uh, Iron was uh, available. All right, I'm going to first get this uh, back of his shirt done. And uh, then I'll start working about, worry about, I'll start, can't talk today. Then I'll start worrying about getting uh, the tools made. I'll show you some of the pictures I took off the uh, video on YouTube of uh, them using tools to shape the uh, planking and uh, the ribs of the uh, Viking vessel. And uh, a lot of them are archaeologically found to be the same as what we have today that we use. Tools don't change all that much. So I'm pretty certain that uh, Noah would have been using the same kind of tools. There's a lot of assuming going on here. And that's because we don't have a lot of archaeological evidence. Now I'm imagining his uh, clothing to be bunched up in the back as closing has a tendency to do when you're wrapping it with a tight belt. So that's what I'm replicating here. The reason I put this side of the log on this side instead of the other side is because I need something to to uh, fill the eye on this side and this unique, beautiful wood that I got at the dump here in Ennis uh, really fits the bill. And it looks like an old log that fell or was blown over in a windstorm. And, uh, He's turned it into a workbench, so to speak.
Well, I'm pretty satisfied with that. <sighs> okay, the first thing I need to do is clean my clay tool so that uh, I don't mix JMAC with uh, monster clay. And uh, the way I do that is by melting the clay on my tool and cleaning up my tool, basically. It's a good idea to clean your tools every once in a while, though, whether you're doing this or not, for that reason. Anyway, all right, that's ready to go. And I'm ready to start the uh, axe. Now, I'm using a pre-made piece of uh, wire that I've twisted together to make a uh, nice little armature. It's the same color clay that I have had in the past. I just was running out of it. And so I ordered a new batch. A little too soft, so I'm going to lift my light up of, off of the uh, monster clay to get it softened up a little bit less. I'm making the handle right now. All right, I've got the first of maybe three or four tools that I'm going to have, and uh, I'll have to do the other two tools or three tools tomorrow. This took a while. Anytime you're doing something that's precise, it's hard to do at least for me. But I'm happy with how this turned out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint this so it looks like the clay. I'm happy with how this, how this turned out. Well, that's the first of the uh, tools that he will have leaning on his log here. I got a Probably have to paint the back of it tomorrow. Worked out just fine. Much better than I thought it would turn out. I, I was fretting this one. I don't like making things that are so tight and I think that works just fine. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review 
of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.